Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us start this lecture with a thought process from Mahatma Gandhi, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others and uh, which is not we are, which is not being followed today by majority of people. Uh, so let us recall what we learnt in the last lecture, basically we are trying to analyze the uh, one dimensional spherical droplet under quiescent atmosphere and we have uh, derived the relationship uh, uh, considering uh, or eliminating the source term uh, considering the both the fuel and the temperature uh, or the energy equation. And uh, there we have already once integrated and if you look at we uh, get uh, this equation D can be rewritten uh, as equation D. can be rewritten as R s square B minus B s plus 1 is equal to R square rho d b by t r. So, uh, if I can uh, separate the variables and then we can integrate it by using separation of variables we can have r s square by there it should be alpha right rho alpha is d r by r square is equal to d b by b minus b s plus 1 right. If you look at continuity equation from continuity we can get mass flux of r n square is nothing but your f s f r s square. That means, whatever the mass is being generated at the surface of the droplet will be conserved across the along with the radial direction. So, that way we can use that ok. Does that make sense? So, uh, if you do that then we can uh, integrate the above equation we can have alpha 1 by r is minus is equal to ln b b s plus 1 plus c. And we will have to apply the boundary condition that boundary condition we are having r is tending towards infinity b is equal to b infinity. That means, in this equation right if r is equal to infinity what is happening this is basically 0 this will be 0 right and c will be what then c will be then ln minus it will be b infinity minus b s plus 1. Okay. So, then we can have that uh, basically m then we can have one by r is equal to ln b 
infinity v s plus 1 divided by the I can make it this bracket v s plus 1. In other words, you can write it down basically uh, as f is equal to rho alpha if I take that rho alpha by r s square r ln b s plus 1 b minus b s plus 1. So, we will have to now uh, apply a boundary condition again right at r is equal to r s what is that that is basically b is equal to b s right. So, if you put that thing here uh, right I can get simplified this one right m dot f because I want to find out what is the mass flux at the surface because this is a general term right this is a mass flux at different r any r you can have but you want to find out mass flux f s right right at the r what it would be it will be rho r by r s ln by b s plus 1 and this will be basically 1 because b become b s minus b s plus 1 this is 0. So, this is nothing but your alpha by r s ln b infinity minus b s plus 1 right this much you are getting. So, uh, keep in mind that this is I can say this is basically I can write down that mass flux right f uh, I can write down that as a s surface is nothing but your alpha by r s ln b plus 1 because this itself I can take b right and b is basically is the transfer number which can be estimated using various expression right. Uh, for example, if I say B f t right we have basically considered V f t it can be extended for any other thing that is nothing but your B infinity minus B s which is nothing but your C p t infinity minus T s plus delta s c y f infinity minus y f s at the surface right divided by q v plus delta s c y f s minus 1. And similar expression you can get for uh, B fuel oxidizer and uh, your uh, oxidizer and temperature. So, you keep in mind that this thing is known like delta s c will be known to you y f infinity will be known right what will be y f infinity will be 0 right and y f s at the surface you need to find it out right and how you will find out that is a very important one right and um, of course, you should know the surface temperature T infinity always you will be known and Q V is uh, heat of uh, vaporization you will have to evaluate already we have looked at the formula for Q V and uh, all these things if you know then you can get the V F T and if you know this uh, rho and alpha and then R s will be known to you, you can find out mass flux conjunction, how much mass is being consumed or being vaporized during the combustion process right. And uh, let us see how we can really get this, uh, how we will get this uh, T s and Y f s that is the very important question one has to ask right and uh, for that of course, the simplest way of doing is that you can take look you can, can take the T boiling 
but you know then and then do that but uh, there is also another way of doing it uh, what we can do we can basically estimate that b uh, we need to know either this ts if i know ts i can find out yfs right um, and if i know the partial pressure also i can find it out that and uh, for this purposes what we will be doing we will be uh, using this uh, various uh, this transfer number and then uh, all transfer number will be same then we can simplify let me talk about uh, this uh, transfer number uh, as i told this transfer number is given by b is equal this thing right already uh, being discussed and then v o x t will be given like this and this is v f o x right and uh, values of uh, typical transfer number uh, b for typical fuel is given right something ice octane 6.41 and benzene and then heptane all those data are given and uh, kerosene gas oil light fuel all those are you can see that uh, octane is a little higher number and then uh, this is 1.7 keep in mind that uh, this is in the logarithm so therefore uh, changes in this transfer number won't really affect the mass burning very much right so uh, we'll be seeing that but now questionnaire is how we can uh, basically estimate uh, properties at the surface like yfs and ts that is the thing we'll be doing that so for that estimating this what we will be considering v the transfer number of f and oxidizer is equal to v oxidizer and t right and uh, if you look at that i can say that uh, in the combustion case right we will be considering where it is combusting but let us let me write down the equation over here that is uh, fox is nothing but your uh, yf infinity minus yfs plus y oxygen at the surface minus y oxygen uh, f right divided by the y f s minus 1 plus f y oxygen s is equal to uh, c p oxygen and temperature we are talking about t infinity minus t s delta s c y oxygen infinity minus y oxygen s into f h v uh, in the in place of q l i am just writing the full term now t s minus t infinity plus delta s c y oxygen s f right so at the uh, for combustion case keep in mind that these transfer numbers are valid for vaporization and combustion okay for combustion case what is that that is basically y oxygen at the surface of the droplet what it would be it will be zero right at the surface of the droplet you know if you take a droplet right and there is a flame here so at the surface what will be this will be oxygen cannot be penetrate into the through the flame so therefore this will be zero at this surface right if i say this is rs so this will be zero and uh, if it is far away let's say some infinity what will be the fuel f infinity will be zero so if that is the case i can say this is zero right oxygen at the surface it is zero right 
and uh, similarly y f s y oxygen s will be 0 right maybe. and uh, y oxygen at the surface this will be 0 right. If you do that what I will get then we can have y oxidizer f plus y f s divided by 1 minus y f s right from this side left hand side then I will get C p t infinity minus T s uh, plus delta s c y oxygen infinity f divided by of course, uh, I can uh, write down this is uh, basically this will be oxygen at the surface this will be 0 right. So, I will be getting delta h v plus c l t s minus t infinity. So, this is let us say equation uh, uh, I am saying i right and uh, then uh, if you look at I need to find out this y f s and y f s uh, and uh, T s are unknown, 2 are unknown right, y f s and T s are unknown. So, what I will do, I will basically y f uh, f can be related as, uh, note that y f s and T s are unknown, uh, but y f can be related to partial pressure, pressure P f, partial pressure right. So, y f we know is nothing but your rho f by rho is nothing but your P f by P molecular weight of fuel divided by molecular weight of mixture right. So, uh, then you know still we have not solved. So, what we will have to do? We will have to basically use the you know relate this partial pressure with respect to what temperature right. And for that we will have to uh, uh, invoke the Clausius Clapeyron equation by invoking uh, Clausius. Clapeyron equation, we can have ln p f d t is equal to delta h v by r t s square right. So, you can uh, get this thing uh, very easily that is ln P f by P f reference right some reference you will take reference is equal to delta h v by r into t reference minus t s. So, this is 3. So, all these 3 equation can be solved because 3 are unknown right and uh, therefore, you can get those things right very uh, easily. Uh, because what are the unknowns here? Unknowns are P f right parcel pressure and T s and then uh, your basically y f s. By solving this all three equation can be obtained by using equation i i 2 and i 3 right and but generally for the simpler way to do is that simpler way you take T s is equal to T b boiling right and then it will be very easier thing to do right kind of things and uh, keep in mind that 
this uh, uh, we will be doing basically this uh, thing and uh, the another thing I would like to uh, also draw your attention that you, if let us say if I will take V O X T right is nothing but your C P T infinity minus T S plus delta H C Y oxy uh, for the surface uh, I can look at this term right uh, delta S C into F is equal to delta H V plus C L T S minus T infinity right. So, uh, if you look at this term, this term in the minator is a too small compared to what as compared to delta H V. So, you can neglect it right. Similarly, this term that uh, enthalpy change is also too small as compared to heat release because that will be what is that? T infinity to T s will be very very small because heat release will be much higher. So, this is also too small as compared to this term right. See always comparison ok and then I can say this is basically delta S c uh, y f into delta H v which is very easier to find out because all are known see you are eliminating lot of things. Y oxidizer you will be knowing F you know delta S c know delta H v know are you getting this is of course approximation you will be. Uh, so, now uh, we will stop over here and we will be discussing about how we can use this relationship for finding out basically uh, burning rate and droplet diameter, how does the diameter of the droplet is changing with respect to time. And once we know uh, how to find out that then we can find out what is the droplet lifetime that means how much time it will take to completely consume during the combustion. So, that we can look at in the next lecture.